the shock appeared, Man City was in danger of relegating to the 5th division. A dark prospect is waiting for the Etihad Stadium team right ahead. In just a short time, Man City faces too many problems and the season is in danger of being ruined. Accordingly, Man City was found to have breached financial fair play with more than 100 charges from the Premier League over a period of nearly 10 years. Many rules are broken regarding trading partnerships and many other issues. Those infractions are unprecedented in the Premier League, and could lead to City being penalised or even expelled from the English top flight. The latest, Telegraph confirmed, the organising committee of professional football leagues England and Wales, EFL, has no obligation to accept Man City in the event this club is eliminated from the Premier League. The EFL is the governing body of three leagues below the Premier League, including Championship, League 1 and League 2. As a rule, clubs must register to become EFL members after being relegated from the Premier League at the end of the season. However, the EFL has no obligation to accept Man City to play in the three leagues they manage. The reason is that only 72 teams are allowed to become members of the EFL. They don't want to break this tight structure just because of Man City. At that time, the Etihad Stadium team may have to start over from the lower ranks. The National League, equivalent to the fifth division in the English football system, or the National League North and National League South, equivalent to the sixth division, may be waiting for Pep Guardiola's teachers and students. While all clubs in the upper tiers operate professionally, the National League includes both professional and semi-professional clubs. This is clearly unthinkable for a big team like Man City. A statement from Premier League organizers said the alleged violations took place over nine different seasons between 2009-10 and 2017-18 and will now be referred to an independent committee. In 2020, UEFA wanted to ban Man City from participating in two consecutive seasons in the European tournament. However, the Etihad Stadium team still escaped after appealing to the Court of Arbitration for Sport, CA. However, the Man City side is quite calm. They said, we are surprised by the allegations of Premier League rule violations, especially after providing extensive and large amounts of detailed documentation to investigators. The club welcomes the consideration of this matter by an independent commission, to objectively consider all the indisputable evidence that exists to support its position. So we look forward to the matter being resolved once and for all. Currently, it is not clear what penalty for Man City. But certainly the owners do not want the team to be expelled from the top division of England. A penalty of deducting points, fines or stripped of titles could be gentler for Man City. Premier League rivals demand Man City be relegated. Premier League rivals are demanding that City be relegated if found guilty of breaking the FFP rules more than 100 times. The Etihad Stadium team has been brought unprecedented accusations by the heads of England's top leagues following a four-year investigation into the club's financial affairs. And while City insists they will be vindicated, the Premier League clubs are demanding a swift punishment before the end of the season. A head of the rival club Man City said, if these allegations are proven then there must be an appropriate punishment, and the only suitable punishment is to send them relegation. We are talking about a decade of alleged abuse and wants the Premier League to do the right thing. In February 2020, Man City was accused of violating the rules of UEFA's financial fair play law. They were initially banned from the Champions League for two years and fined £25 million. However, that award was overturned by the Court of Arbitration for Sport. Man City have until February 23 to respond to the allegations this time. At that time, Murray Rosen, head of the Football Association's Judiciary Council, will confirm the formation of a three-member committee, which will be headed by a senior solicitor. That could allow a hearing as early as next month, though both sides would have the power to ask the appeals panel to rehear the evidence if the ruling is against them.
but rival clubs are pushing for an earlier trial as they would rather have a penalty imposed this season than City be allowed to prolong the matter.